Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are old here, welcome back. New here, hey, welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of my info is in the description box below. If you are new here, I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So we're going to tap into your collective spirit insights. I've already pulled uh, pre-shuffled for your oracles. We'll hop into your tarot and then clarify each of the cards here. So your spirit messages, Gemini message, I should say. Um, when I went into meditation and filled and felt into your energy, I was feeling, um, I saw a raven. I say the ravens are in the crow family. So it is a black, um, it is a black bird. I do feel like, Ravens and crows have gotten, you know, a bad rap when it comes to like evil and death and things. But there are very, there are some very beautiful insights that revolves around seeing the raven, whether that is some of you are seeing them in your dreams, you're seeing them out in your neighborhood or different places. Um, but I do feel like I don't either some of you are fascinated with it or you just feel like you've been noticing that you've been seeing ravens or crows, um, but specifically ravens lately. Okay. And you could do your research on what the raven means. You could look up spirit animals on Google. Um, but I'll tell you just a little bit about seeing ravens. Um, they represent ancient wisdom, intelligence, and transformation. So there's a lot that, you know, could be happening for you in your life right now. So they are messengers like a lot of birds are. They carry the weight of untold stories or visions, I should say, and prophetic messages. So they signal that a change is coming in your life. And they can also symbolize magic, spiritual teacher, or healer. So something that's within you, your, that spiritual teacher or that healer that's within you. Some of you may need to tap into that energy. But, you know, it's, it's all about messages and magic and intelligence, even darkness as well. But they are also synonymous with shape-shifting, transformation, and... Um, divine timing so there's a lot that could be transpiring in your life right now so we'll hop right into your oracles here which your angel number i pulled i pulled two the first one is 2323 so if you are seeing this this is about endless cycles this is about charisma communication society movement journey repetitive circumstances and patterns there's some there's some truth uh, you're resistant to accept over and over again until you're tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. So if you're seeing 2323, 20, 23, this is your confirmation here. And if you are also seeing 4444, 44, this is what your angels want you to know. There is a blessing that is in disguise. This is about obstacles, hardships, strength, strength building, strength, building character, experience. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this, Gemini. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor if you've been suffering or feeling lost. Some things may fall apart, but you're building the framework for something much better. So hang in there, okay? So if you're seeing 44, 44, and 23, 23, these are your numbers for this month. A chakra that you can focus on during this time is your root chakra. So you can focus on taking action in your life. The number three is connected with creativity. Um, some of you may even have the life path three number. From a numerology perspective, this is about creativity being in the in the limelight, in the forefront. Also, I'm feeling like there's something new that you can try as well to sort of help open up your chakra. That could be dancing. That could be singing. Whatever that is, it feels like there is, is an imbalance going on in your root chakra where you may have been focused on survival mode or you're feeling like out of sorts or you're feeling like you don't belong in this three-dimensional world or belong in the family or belong in this relationship this is an opportunity for you to get in alignment here. So movement is going to be your best friend during this time to wake up that chakra, okay? Because you're, you, you've been in a 
you're been in the, you're going to persevere through, through things but i do feel like that there, there has been a stuck energy here so this is about you getting disciplined and motivated during this month okay so whether that means you're creating a new workout regimen to sort of get some movement going in your life it feels like some of you may have been sedentary and so spirit is asking you to create um, a, a mix-up a shake-up or something of that nature so that you can get the energy moving for you okay a crystal that you can work with during this month is labradorite and your affirmation is I take the time for reflection and see life from a higher perspective. Working with this stone can um, help you observe life from a greater perspective. It will help you reflect on your inner light. It will help you develop consistent spiritual practices, which you or some of you are needing right in this moment. It will help you in, um, increase your is, is spiritual awareness. And it's also asking you to meditate regularly. Okay, so it feels like there's a lot of energy around being connected and because we pulled that root chakra as the chakra that you can work on during this month this is about you getting grounded as well so labradorite can help you with that a message for you to consider during this month is nothing is yet set in stone okay so um in the a mutable moon which a mutable sign would be you you are a, a mutable air sign um but nothing is yet set in stone. So if you feel like this is the card that you've been dealt, know that things can change. Okay, I feel like a lot of emotions coming up for you. There's been some turbulence going on and you feel like this is just what life has dealt you. That's not true. Okay, so if you're feeling down and out, know that nothing is set in stone, that things can change at the drop of a dime for you. Your overall energy here, we have the number 12 breaking down to the three. So the number three is coming up again. So if you're seeing the number three, 33, 33, 333 or 3333, 33, this is the number for you to look into. If you're seeing that on a regular basis, this is your angels trying to get you to this point of getting into a state of awakening, looking at things from a different perspective because things have been at a temporary standstill for you and make for some of you it may stay that way if you don't create this action this movement that you're needing in order to push things through in order to persevere through situations or life in general it's important to always be yourself so this is a time of awakening i'm going to pull your uh, your tarot cards out and then we're going to clarify each of these um for you okay let's put these back messages for Gemini I'm gonna put that up right okay the devil is a lie okay the temptation is real for you guys okay so we have the knight of cups the high priestess the five of wands the ace of swords and then the devil energy let's clarify this awakening card that we just pulled okay some of you are also needing to um connect with archangel gabriel as well that's going to help you awaken to a new aspect in your life um I feel like there's a lot of things that you want to say. You want to say to someone or you just want to say in general. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, your energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. All right, so <clears throat> the truth is, will be spoken. The truth will be revealed. Okay, so <laughs> this could be uh, the Knight of Cups is, I feel like there could be someone or someone walking away from you, you walking away from something after something is revealed or some truths are being spoken. Like it feels like there's some sort of communication where someone walks away. Okay. Um, and, and I feel like whatever this is, is part of your awakening phase to see something clearly, to see something different within yourself, within this person. It doesn't matter. But overall, I feel like this is communication that you have with someone, possibly a love interest. This could show up as a job as well, like a walking away from a job, walking away from a boss, walking away from a friendship. But I do feel like there is a revelation that you have. You develop, develop a different perspective 
depending upon what is said, the communication that is exchanged between you and someone. And I do feel like there could be an energy of someone walking away, Queen of Swords as well, your energy. So this makes me feel you may be um, in this place of setting clear boundaries, Gemini. I feel like you're, you're at a place or you're coming into an energy of knowing what you want, what you set out to um, have and do in life. And if it doesn't align with someone in your life, you're just going to walk away from it. And this could be someone walking towards you as well, okay, with the, the Knight of Cups walking towards the Queen of Swords. But whatever this is, I feel like you may be turning your back. Some of you are turning your back on love or just turning your back on a person in general because there is a sense of independence that is coming up with the Queen of Swords for, um, for me. There may be some sort of judgment that happened, but I, I definitely feel like there's communication and then you're setting boundaries about something. It feels like it may have been something, may have been something that seems very complex that maybe you don't have a lot of information about and you may just, just decide to walk away because you don't know how to answer or you don't know how to show up for this person. So you just emotionally remove yourself from a situation so that you can see from different perspectives. But at the end of the day, it is you developing different perspectives because the awakening card is here and you are awakening to something different. OK, you're trying to look at things from all angles. And so you may be in this place where you might feel stuck. You might feel stagnant. You feel like you're at a standstill, almost kind of like a stalemate, like the two of swords. Um, so I, I definitely feel like it's important for you to be yourself. So whoever this person is that you're either walking away from or they're walking away from you, it makes me feel like you're not 100% able to be yourself, um, show up how you operate in a friendship or a relationship or in a job. And so you may decide to walk away. And I don't know if this is a walk away forever. This may be a temporary standstill for you so that you can see things from different perspectives because I feel like you may be in it so hard in some way that you just can't, you really can't see clearly. But this Queen of Swords here is like, oh no, we're going to like, we're going to you know, use our our perception and we're going to create some boundaries and we're going to get to a place where we can see the eye to eye or I need to, you know, I got to take care of myself because it feels like you need to find clarity. You need a clear mind. So for you, me may need to step away from something in order to get the clarity. Some of you may decide to see a therapist or, you know, a counselor of some sort, spiritual advisor, so that you can get clarity around something that you love or something or someone that you love. Okay. So, because <clears throat> I feel like some of you may be running out of patience. You may be in this place of like being cold and um, distant. Okay. Because that can definitely come up as an air sign because you get in your head and you're just kind of like, all of these thoughts are swirling around and some of you may be coming up with your own analysis in the analysis paralysis situation instead of talking it out with someone. OK, so it feels like there may be some sort of disconnect depending on the communication that you have with someone. So this is an opportunity for you to awaken this month. OK, so that's your overall energy. We have the uh, Knight of Cups here that is coming in as an obstacle for you. Let me get my little keep me on track. Okay. Um, so an obstacle or a challenge for you, Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is back, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. So I feel like this is, you know, someone that you're dealing with. This is an emotion or this is a person that you're dealing with, watery energy. Um, I, I'm hearing, I'm trying to do all the things. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing from you, Gemini. I'm trying to do all the things, but it, it feels like there's some a roadblock. Let's pull some cards around this. Okay. So makes me feel like you're trying to be, you know, if you're a guy, you're trying to be, um, or the more dominant person, I should say, you, you're you trying to, like, create, you, you, there's chivalry there, you're trying to go on dates, you're trying to be romantic, you're trying to charm this person, because there's a lot of love and attraction there, you're trying to be romantic and all of those things, but I'm feeling like a roadblock, the moon, the knight of swords, and the three of wands, Okay, so I feel like you, Pisces energy here, your energy in the center, and then we have, um, um, Le I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here, which I feel like 
this is a back and forth between someone being in their mind, in their head, not, not sharing a lot of things, could possibly be withdrawing, but there's also a lot of passion there. So it feels intense. <laughs> feels very intense here, okay? And I feel like there's a lot of things that you want to say. And I also need a drink of water because I feel like the funny thing is here, Gemini, I feel like you are talking a lot during this time. My throat is dry as hell. So I feel like you guys are talking a lot. <laughs> you're trying to convey your message, trying to get your point across. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye. Someone... Pisces energy here could be holding on to something, okay? Or maybe they don't see a future like you see a future with them. Um, uh, this is okay. There's just a there's a lot of um, there's a lot of there's a lot of mixed emotions because emotions coming from your end and emotions coming from another person's end. I'm also getting hot because it seems like. This conversation gets heated. It also feels like this is not the first time this conversation has been had. It could be for some of you, but I definitely feel like it's, it's a going back and forth. I feel like you in the center of this, of this Knight of Swords, you're like coming in hot and this person is kind of shut down. So this can be an obstacle because I feel like you're trying to do all of the nice things to get them to open up about something. Or you're trying to get them to choose you. Whatever this is, you like the three of wands is like confirming that like you're waiting for them to do something for you. You're waiting for them to reciprocate. You're waiting for them to express their emotions to you. But no, they're withdrawn. And, and and that's a challenge for you because you're trying to do all of the things to let someone know. I like you. I love you. I got you. Let's do this. And they're not. They're kind of stuck. Their, their feelings are kind of up and down. Okay, they have a lot of other things going on in their mind, in their world. And I don't think they're fully opening up to you. So this Three of Wands is kind of like you waiting. You're preparing for them to make a decision. Because I don't even feel like some of you will make the decision for them. You're waiting for them to open up. Because you really do like this person or love this person. Um, and you want and you're trying to look ahead. You're trying to see past something here, Gemini, to see past something in them. But I feel like you're trying to force it. You could be trying to you could be forcing something, forcing someone to like you, forcing someone to be in your energy, like but it feels like it could be conflicting to the other person. Okay, because you're all about action. And I know we talked about action working on the root chakra this month, but that is solely for you. That's not about someone else. Okay, but this month is about you for sure taking action. Okay, because there's a lot going on in your mind and you're driven to make this work, to be happy, you know, but this could be an energy of being impulsive, rush, rushing into something. And you're trying to make someone feel the way that you feel. And it's I feel like they're not there. I'm going to pull one more card on this because this is very interesting. Um, I want to see why the moon card is here. Why is the moon? Yeah, <laughs> more water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So in clarifying this moon energy here, uh, feels like... Uh, Someone is holding on to something, waiting for something. Um, they're contemplating and they're not they're not rushing in at, like you, but they're disconnected in some sort of way, Gemini. I would hate for you to be wasting your time on something. And I feel like I feel like this is an opportunity for you to use your gut, your 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 instincts, your instincts, your instincts, I should say. Um, remember nothing is nothing is yet set in stone. Um so some of you may decide to wait this out to whenever this person sort of comes around to you. But um, somebody's holding on to something. Your person or whoever this person is to you, they're holding on to something. And maybe they're disappointed in some way with you or just disappointed in life. They could be missing out on something. There could be something that you're not providing them. And they may not be forthright with, forthcoming with telling you what it is that they need. Um, it makes me feel like 
this is like they could be holding on to baggage there could be someone else there could be a lot of reasons as to why they're not fully opening up maybe they don't really like you in that way very interesting energy here i'm going to move on from that challenge okay so some of you may be dealing with that keep in mind that this is not going to resonate with everyone if this reading doesn't resonate with you there are a lot of amazing readies, readers out there there may be a reading out there that will resonate with you or you can make this fit however it fits for you you can interchange anything here okay the genders the roles um the people it doesn't matter okay so where you're headed during this month is the high priestess so this is a you really tapping into your um your spirituality your intuition because i feel like your intuition may be telling you something some of you are very psychic as well you can already see um you could already see what's going to happen or you feel what's going to happen, whether you're clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, claircognizant. It doesn't matter. I feel like you have a knowing about something, okay? You know that somebody's holding on to something, but I feel like you see the potential in someone, and so you're not fully ready to let go of something or this person yet, okay? So you're trying to... You're trying to find some balance in this relationship to just make it work for you where it's where it works out for both parties <clears throat> feels like a compromise or a sacrifice I don't know let's see what's coming up five of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio eight of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio King of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius okay so you or your person some or someone holding on to something they're like not moving past it and i feel like they're stuck for some of you this could even be a, a relationship that you have been in and someone is holding on to something from the past and unable to move away from it and i i do feel like <laughs> This King of Wands energy makes me feel like some your person could be moving towards someone else. As I look at the Eight of Cups going towards the King of Wands, I feel like they're leaving behind this disappointment and regret and what they've been holding on to and just deciding to move into something else. That's what this feels like. Okay, and for some of you, some for some of the for some of you, this could be moving from moving into this darkness. Okay, and some of them are moving. Somebody's moving away. Moving out of relationship, moving away, re relocating or something. Moving out of a darkness, a heaviness as well. But although the contrast is light to dark, I still feel like this energy is heavy. And so some of you may or this person may decide to leave whatever they have been feeling and just walking away from it all together. Okay. And walking towards someone else. This is what that feels like to me. Walking towards someone else who they see as king status because we had, for you, we had the queen of swords and we also had the knight of swords. So that makes me feel like there could be a back and forth in personality traits where there could be a little immaturity. And then, you know, maybe someone is, maybe you're showcasing yourself as this very mature, put together person, but then there's levels of immaturity towards you. And then this person is, this has been revealed to someone and now they're not feeling the same way. This could go so many different ways because, I, again, like I said, it does feel conflicted. But what I do feel is that someone is walking towards something else. This could be another opportunity, but I do feel like it's a person. Someone could be moving in with someone else, and which could be, for some of you, why a person may be feeling like they're stuck, they're stagnant, you're trying to do all of the nice things to sort of keep them around because that's what you know how to do, Gemini. But I feel like your gut is saying you know that they have already escaped. They've already withdrawn from you. That's what this feels like. Ah, <sighs> So nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so this makes me feel like there could be opportunities for the two of you to work through things. This could be an opportunity for someone to come back into your life. But you know, as I'm, I keep looking at the 4444, the angel number that we pulled for you earlier. This is about blessings in disguise. So someone walking away from you may just be a blessing. It may hurt and feel challenging in the moment. Endless cycles. 
Okay, some of you have been going through endless cycles, possibly with this person, and there feels like there needs to be a shift um, in order to in order to get ahead. So it definitely feels like you're gonna have to take action. You're gonna have to take action this month. What's happening in your near future is the five of wands. So this is conflict. Okay. You clashing with someone. I'm also feeling a competitive nature, and that competitive nature could be showing up in your energy if if you if your person has walked away from you and went has gone has walked towards someone else. There's a competitiveness in trying to get them back. This could also be you walking away from your person and your person trying to get you back because you left them for someone else. Okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is. <laughs> This is definitely a struggle, an obstacle for you guys. Okay, let's pull some clarifiers. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So we move from the Seven to the Eight. So uh, I'm feeling like some of you may have been dealing, this may be some, someone that you're dealing with from the past. There's some history or something there. Um, but I definitely feel like you guys have been, you've invested in this, okay? But there's an energy of uncertainty that is coming up. You put a lot of time and energy into building this. And I think for some of you, it comes to a point where you're like, not even just conflicted, but you're battling, battling yourself, battling someone else as well, because you're like, all of this time and energy that I've invested in this relationship or in this job or however it shows up for you, you're going to do this to me, okay? Because this is double confirmation with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands, that it's a constant battle. This is a constant battle, and it feels like you're struggling, like climbing uphill with trying to bring this person back down or bring this person back into your life. There's an energy of you stepping out of character or someone stepping out of character, being doing being confrontational, being territorial, being defensive, okay? That being in competition. So this and that that and that's what the seven of wands is proving too is like this is challenge. You're being you're it's a competitive nature, okay? You're trying to control a situation that is out of your control. And it's a hard fight. And it's a battle against something that has pulled away from you. And you're trying to pull it back forcefully in some way. Okay? Um, and I feel, like you're, I feel like you're putting in everything. And this can go both ways because I do keep feeling energy of you're doing something and then they're doing something and then there's conflict and then there's a pulling away, there's distance. It's, it's, it's definitely a back and forth that you're going. It feels overwhelming. Um, it feels confusing. It feels very tiresome and bothersome. My head is spinning. I'm tired of talking about it. So this is what this feels like is that's what's coming towards you in your near. I mean, that's what's happening in your near future is like this battle between you and this person or you, your person and someone else that they're dealing with. OK, I'm going to move on from that. Your advice is the Ace of Swords. I'm hearing accept the truth, accept the truth, because, you know, intuitively what the truth is. And some of you are still trying to push up against that. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Eight of Pentacles. So we move from the Seven to the Eight. Seven of Swords. Ace of Cups. So Spirit is asking you to step out of this emotion, emotional turmoil and get some, so that you can get some mental clarity in order to be able to make a decision to move forward and have your new beginning, because this is over, uh, it's, it's overwhelming. Like I said, you're trying to overcome this obstacle that you've been faced with when it comes to someone that you love. And I feel like you have put in so much effort into this. There are things that have gone missing. There are things that have been unseen um, as you have been pouring into something. So 
for some of you, this may be a job. Some of you, this may be a relationship that you were trying to do all of these other romantic things where you may have been falling short on emotionally connecting or spiritually connecting with a person and there has been love lost or something, okay? Seven of um, seven of swords here. So I, this makes me feel like the truth is going to be spoken about some of the things that may have been in secret. Someone, this is the energy of deception and betrayal. Someone trying to get away with something and they're trying to trick you and have these tactics into sort of divert your energy or you're diverting someone else's energy to keep it off of what is true. And at the end of the day, the Ace of Cups here, it's like this could be a new love or new relationship that um, maybe you are going to develop with this person when you come out and you're being authentically you or they're coming out and being authentically themselves. Maybe you decide that you're going to put in the time and energy and the effort to make this work despite everything that you're feeling, everything that the two of you have gone through. This could show up as friendships as well. Um, you may decide to have a breakthrough or there may be a breakthrough. Um, so this is why I feel like nothing is yet set in stone because despite what you're going through, there is a back and forth. Maybe you're a person or maybe it's you that's going back and forth between one person and another person. And maybe you just decide to let yourself experience this breakthrough and realize that there is a lot of love there. There has been love that has been lost. But being forthcoming with secrets and betrayal and deception, putting everything out on the table is what I'm feeling like talking about. It may take you to a different level because I do feel there is a history here um, that you have with this person. Like I said, so it could be someone from the past or just someone that there's a lot of familiarity with, but you have a strong bond with. They, You just kind of let it all out, put it all on the table. And then it's like, okay, no love lost. We kept it real with one another. And maybe you do decide to move on. Um, from this or maybe you decide to work it out. I don't know how it's going to show up for you, but you definitely need to talk about this. Everything needs to be uh, revealed. Everything needs to be put on the table. Okay, the devil is coming up as your final outcome here. All right, so I'm going to pull some cards on that before I get into that energy. The tower the eighth page of cups and the death card. Wow. Wow. This feels really intense here. Okay. Because I, 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 I'm I feeling like there could be an energy of uh, manipulation that was there between you and someone. Um, maybe it could have been based off of what this person provides for you or you provide for them. So based off of materialism, like tangible things, you two could have been addicted to one another. It feels like the devil is like an unhealthy energy and it feels like you know, there could be a breakup. Things come crumbling down in order for, you know, change to be, change to be had, change to be made. Okay, so some of you could be um, getting evicted, moving out of your place. Uh, you know, your person could be moving out. It definitely feels like, um, I still feel like there's someone in between. I feel like it's not just you in a person. I feel like there's something in between that. That could be an emotion that someone could be holding on to or this is a person. But it definitely feels like it's not just two individuals. There's something in the middle of this that is putting up a wall that is um, that is blocking you from being connected in some sort of way. There's some sort of disconnect that is happening here. Okay. And this feels like a really, uh, this feels like a really transformative month for you guys here, Gemini. Um, but there, there is something that could be coming in between you and someone. And I don't know how that's going to show up. And some of you are going to just decide to walk away from this um, because it feels toxic. If it, whatever, this could be abusive for some of you. This could be just love is lost. However, it's going to show up. I definitely feel like an ending. Okay, that's what this feels like. The devil, the tower, the death card. It's like when it comes to you and this person, like I said, you may 
decide to put everything out on the table and then wash your hands of this or their per that your person's washing their hands of this. And again, this could show up as an emotion that you're letting go of and not a person. But for some of you, I'm feeling like a person. Most of you who are dealing with this situation is dealing with a person. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm exhausted, y'all. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm sorry, Gemini. You're probably feeling the same way too. There's a lot of energy going on. A lot of talking, my throat is getting dry, my throat is getting raspy. And, you know, some of you might be trying to, you know, talk yourself, you know, talk yourself up, talk yourself down. Like you're talking, just talking. That's what I'm feeling. I'm like, I'm just, you're just talking. Spirit is asking you to take action. No more talking. Take action. Okay. I'll leave it at that, Gemini. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Let me know if this reading resonates with you, if you like the style of the reading, if you want to see something different. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit that all notification bell. Sh share this with your family and friends. Like this video. Good luck to you guys because you are definitely going to need it here, Gemini, with all of this going on in your life. But sending you many blessings and love and light. Okay, Gemini, take care. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.